leads in game four with a Phoenix high 27 points. His first points since the first quarter. Screen by Thomas, the drive by Parker, and a rejection by Shaq, which is called a goal 10 and count the two. Yeah. Shaq's got to get there one step sooner. He, that was a goal 10, and, but he's got to get there one step sooner and force Tony Parker to kick that ball out to a shooter. Meow again. Finley is there. Thomas with a little help defense rotating over. Parker once again gets a foul. It's on Steve Nash. Number one, make it number two. They rule that 24 seconds. He's played a lot against Tim Duncan in the past. Obviously, when he was with the Lakers and the Lakers and the Spurs had those great playoff runs against each other. So these guys know each other's games very well. And Shaq made a nice defensive play and then to save the ball. It's going to be a. Well, Finley just checked out with his fourth personal foul, and they brought in Udoka. And a shove and a foul on Udoka. He picks up his third foul with 9.31 to play in the third. The importance now watching how quickly the Suns get in the penalty, but that can also be a blessing and a curse if you're not going to make your free throws. <laughs> Good point. 6-8 Diaw. Shot clock at three. Diaw against Udoka. Snaps it to Stoudemire. Freezes it in the shot and a shot clock violation. Will not count. The idea was good. The execution was great. The timing just wrong. Now, Amari Stoudemire, though, he's got to start looking for his shot. He's taken, uh, uh, what is it, nine shots and I guess ten shots in the game tonight. But they're playing him at the foul line to play off Boris Diaw. And he's been very passive here looking for that quick shot or that lane uh, to get to it. Kirk Thomas once again. And that's the offensive rebound that Mike D'Antoni talked about. They could not give up. Udoka's on Nash. Nash over Parker. Rebound by Udoka. Outlet to Tony Parker. Tony Parker's got five assists tonight. Game high 22. Screen by Duncan. Knocked out Diaw. Out to Udoka. Over Bell for three. Missed it all. Duncan will try to save. Stepped out of bounds. Back to the sun. Talked about Udoka's three point shooting going into tonight's game. He was 0 for 7 in the series. He did hit a three early in the first half. That one was woefully short. Stoudemire over Thomas. Missing wildly there. The rebound by Udoka. That's, that's out of his range. That's not a good shot for Marsh. That's not being aggressive. Duncan the screen. Parker took it down low. Bell's on Udoka, screen by Thomas. Pick and roll with him. Over Bell. Over Thomas. Rebounded by Shaq. He did a good job blocking out Duncan's attempt to get that loose ball. And Shaq has claimed seven rebounds. Dia. Stoudemire into Duncan. That's what he's got to do right there. He called it Doug. Now that's being aggressive. Get down in the paint and go to work. Don't be a jump shooter at 22 feet. I mean, Tim Duncan would love for you to stay out there all night. You see points in the paint. Goes by six. Parker in the shot. He drew the double. Duncan drifting outside. Picked up by Stoudemire. The defense by Stoudemire, but he didn't stick with it. Duncan did. And Tim Duncan puts in his 18th point of the game. Nash does not have an assist yet. Stoudemire with the hardy drive. Rebound by Duncan. Parker the other way. Stoudemire must have heard you, Doug. He's trying to get his game going. He has to get that paint and go to work for the Suns. That's where he does his damage. He has a screen. Diaw is the one who was blocked out. And the foul goes on Boris Diaw, picking up his second personal foul. Here comes Ginobili, Doug, and look at what the time is. We're just under five minutes, just over five minutes gone in this third. A little later than normally we've seen, but again, he's got the three fouls. And let's uh, follow this up because David Aldridge said the Spurs know how much they need him. They're going to go to him early. So let's see if they get the ball in his hands here and maybe let him go to that screen roll game that he's so good at working off Duncan from the top. Ginobili for Bowen. Duncan the screen on Dion. That opens up the shot for Parker. Rebound by Amari Stoudemire, and he collects 
Here's a rebound with 11 points. Dion's got 14. Only two players in double figures for the Phoenix Suns. Shaq is one of five. Into Duncan. Where Duncan played him well. Duncan has the rebound. He's collected 11. Duncan's got the double-double. San Antonio off to a 3 of 10 shooting third quarter. Antonio with a little touch foul on the face and a foul right there. That you got tipped. That wasn't little. It was right in the side. I was going to say that's yeah. easy for you to right say. Right the Jack hit you in the face. Well, but a little. <laughs> I just it looked like a tap, but it was obviously right in the eye, and that's a foul. Number three on O'Neal. That's sort of like minor surgery. Right. That's when it's on somebody it's else. You. <laughs> <laughs> well, Shaq, what he tries to do is get a hand up and try to discourage him. He slaps at the ball there, and then he reaches up and uh, does get Tim in the face. Let's see if Ginobili goes to work here. We'll pick and roll with Thomas, driving up Stoudemire. Dial off the Nash. Into Diaz, sliding by Ginobili. First assist for Steve Nash. That's when the Suns are good, when they're out running like that. That time, Diaz filled, uh, filled that uh, lane beautifully. It was Ginobili right to Shaq, and that is a foul. As we go back just a few moments to that fast break by the Phoenix Suns, Doug, their first fast break points since midway through the first quarter. A third, make it a fourth. Foul has gone on Shaquille O'Neal as we compare again the big three for each team. That's why I said that I think that Barbosa and Dia and Bell are so important to this team, especially with... And Steve Nash is two for nine, but he's never really been in the rhythm this game tonight, as witnessed by, you know, that being his first assist. And, you know, Steve is so used to having that ball in his hands and coming down and probing, and you know, the Suns feel like they have a great matchup with Diaw, but uh, the, the, Steve has got to get in a better rhythm here if they're going to win this game. Alberto for Thomas. Hirachek for Shaq. Double team. Parker had it knocked away. I think Stoudemire got a hand on it. Two on one with Hirachek. Ginobili playing with the foul issues and an easy two-on-one break right there. Gordon Giracek began with Utah, was traded to Philly. He was let go, and he was a late-season acquisition by the Phoenix Suns. Well, with all said and done, as many free throws as the Suns have missed, they're hanging in this game down only four, trying to make a push. Berto. Dion tangles with Duncan. Jump ball. 5-14 to play in the third quarter. Both teams are carrying games. You can't say that about every quarter of every game. You should you would think you could say it in every game in the playoff, but tonight it really seems to be the case. Well, so much at stake. I mean, the San Antonio Spurs know that New Orleans has already won, and they do not want to go to Phoenix on Thursday night for game six. I can tell you that would be absolutely no way do they want to have to do that. They want to end this tonight, and Phoenix is saying, we went here tonight and get back to Phoenix. You can win that game in Phoenix, it's 3-3, and then you're looking at a, a, a game seven where anything can happen. A three by Nash, Udoka with the defense, the rebound by Oberto, and he has now three. Parker, Oberto with the screen on Raja Bell. See, Raja Bell now guarding Parker, that puts Giracek on Genova. And Dion on Duncan, and over Stoudemire, Amari picks up the loose ball. He's got nine rebounds. Diaw, Stoudemire into Duncan. Count it! And a foul! And Doug has been harping on that. A close end shot. Stoudemire puts it down with 13 points. Lock at 445. And the Suns to within two. Duncan picks up his third personal. Well, you can see now the Suns are pushing the ball. That time it was Boris Diaw and Nash pushing ahead. And then Amari Stoudemire finishing out on the break. So all of a sudden now Amari Stoudemire has gone to work in the lane. Does not get the free throws, so now it's become contagious. Everybody's missing him. 11 of 25, now 14 missed free throws for the Suns in a two-point game. Spurs have gone 12 of 12 from the free throw line. San Antonio is shooting 39.7% with the ball right there. The foul goes on Gordon Giracek, who picks up his first. 
Yudoka and Ginobili with Oberto and Duncan and Tony Parker on the floor for San Antonio. You know, this might be a little bit of a blessing right now for the Suns because you've seen the way Pop has gone to the hack -the shack With him sitting, they cannot employ that strategy. Ginobili has not shot all that well. Missing right there. Girachek with the defense. And the rebound was pulled down by Amari Stoudemire with 10. He's got a double-double. There's a foul on Yudoka trying to stay with the elusive. Oh, it's pouring now. The drive is in on Stoudemire on the switch and a foul. Almost every possession, Parker flies his way into the lane. We we're just talking about that. Block at 10-18, foul for the fourth time on Amari Stoudemire. And here comes Parker to the free throw line. A perfect 8 of 8. His team has only missed one in 14 tries from the stripe. And the Diesel getting ready to check back in the game for Phoenix. He's been on the bench since the five and a half minute mark of that third quarter. And the, uh, the Suns worked their way back into this game. Parenting isn't easy watching TV's Funniest Family is this June. The big Engvall show. Bill Engvall show is back. Catch an all new episode of the True Family Comedy. It's June 12th at 9, only on TBS, and Doug, you know what this I show mean, that, is. That's very fun. Oh. <laughs> you're helping me out on promos. I love that, Coach. You, you're, you're, you're. Shaq back out on the floor. You run the risk if you get in this penalty real early and you start doing the hack-a-shack, and all of a sudden if a Barbosa or a Nash or a Bell get fouled, you get that early penalty, that could be very costly. Switch, Parker's on the out. Over Barry, it's Barbosa for three. Shaq couldn't grab it, but Ori does. I'd like to see Barbosa drive the ball more. He's not hitting the three ball. He's now only four of 17 from three in this series. Shaq and Duncan. The Shaq defense is, by Shaq and Duncan has gone 9 of 21. Absolutely good defense. That time he forced Duncan to spin back. He kept that big body up against him and kept him off balance. Here comes Diaw wheeling his way into Robert Ory and Diaw with 20. I think the Spurs were hoping maybe that Ory could guard Boris Diaw. He's not going to be able to do it, so Greg Popovich is going to have to talk about this. The world of basketball lost uh, one of its favorite sons recently, Will Robinson. He was your coach, Doug, at yeah. Illinois State, the first black coach in Division I basketball. Yeah, he was a man I loved dearly. Boy, did he mean so much to me in my life. And, Helped chart the path. There's Coach Robinson and I later in his life, and uh, I'm going to miss him, Coach. I loved you, and uh, there's a lot of people here very sad that uh, touched a lot of lives along the way, mine particularly. You heard Pop just talking about being too frenetic, and when Parker gets in the lane and he draws a lot of people, bad things happen for the Suns and good things for the Spurs. First field goal for the San Antonio Spurs in three and a half minutes. The try by Bell, the rebound by Duncan. And here comes Tony Parker. If I'm Mike D'Antoni, I use my timeout to wisely. Any kind of run at all by the Spurs, you've got to stop the game and the momentum tonight. Pick and roll with Thomas. Double inside is Thomas. The defense collapsing on him. The feed came from Parker. And Kurt Thomas will be at the line with the foul going on Diaw number four. See, when you force Shaq to step up that high, it leaves the basket area wide open. Boris Diaw, not a shot blocker. Now, if Amari's back there, he rotates over. And you're going to see Amari come in the game now. He has four fouls. Shaq has four fouls, getting money time, 8.31 to go here in the game. It will inbound the ball, and it will come side out to Finland. It's Ginobili from Thomas, the defense by Girachev, and picked up by Raja Bell. This crowd was waiting to explode. They're waiting for Ginobili to make a big shot. He's 2 of 10. Nash is 2 of 10. Parker sticks right with Nash. Shot clock is down to 8. Screen by Stoudemire. Pick and roll with Stoudemire. Ginobili knocked it away. Here comes Parker. Uh oh, got to be real careful ball. here. Real careful here, Raja Bell. Sometimes his reputation precedes him. I thought maybe too, Parker, he did. I think he twisted that right ankle, which... You can hear that ball. 
You can ill afford a flagrant foul right now if you're the Phoenix Suns. It would totally change the momentum of this game. Rajabel gets back, and a lot of times those are reputation flagrants. You know what I'm saying? I don't think they're going to call it here. Oh, Parker and Bell now, John, have to be separated by our official Derek Stafford. Bell's third personal foul. Well, Tony Parker very upset. He felt like that uh, Rajabel got away with a very tough foul there. What you have to do in that situation is you got to gather yourself, step up, and make your free throws. This game, you got one team fighting for their playoff life. Watch Roger Bell here now. He's just going to come in there and hit Tony Parker. The fans here are seeing the replay. But again, Kevin, you've got one team fighting for their playoff life and another one trying to finish off the series. Tony Parker going to the line. So all of a sudden, they're starting to miss free throws. Let's watch this play once again. A little elbow in the back yep. there by... Uh, Raja Bell, I think a game of this magnitude, the referees are going to be on top of every one of these situations. And Parker from the line, 10 of 12. A San Antonio high, 24 points. Diaw leading the Suns with 20. And with Diaw out of the game, that ball will be in Steve Nash's hands. Oh, the alley oop and Shaq pounds it down with a jackhammer. Shaq's first field goal since midway through the second quarter. O'Neal's got time. Parker still does not have a basket outside the lane area. They've got to force him to be a jump shooter. Juracek now comes out on Parker. The Duncan screen, the clock at three. Duncan over Shaq. What a shot by Tim Duncan. And Shaquille O'Neal actually got out and got a hand in that shot. That was a very difficult shot. 24 and 13 for Duncan. Nash to Stoudemire. Here a check guarded by Finley. Duncan watching Shaq. Shaq tonight. On the floor, two of eight. Weston's going to be here. Did Shaq get that ball? And ricocheted off Tim Duncan. And then did Shaq get a piece of it? I think the referee ruled that he did. Mike D'Antoni does not agree with the call. That ball ricocheted off the hands of Duncan. Let's watch now. A very hard miss by Shaq. Duncan gets his hand up. Watch this now. He hits it. And it's hard to see right there, but the referee ruled that Shaq touched that ball. Duncan the screen. Parker by Bell. Duncan with the rebound. Another screen. Parker to Duncan. Good time out here by Mike D'Antoni. You've got to manage this last six and a half minutes. You've got to talk to your team. Again, an offensive rebound led to another field goal by Tim Duncan. Remember, I talked about it, Kevin. No costly mistakes if you're Phoenix here tonight. You cannot have lapses. You have to finish this game and make big plays. This time it's Duncan once again off the pass by Parker. The Spurs now on a 7-2 run. Phoenix has got to regroup. Nash doubled by both Duncan and Thomas. Rebounded by Ginobili. Spurs at 39% from the field. Ginobili snakes his way. Taken away by Stoudemire. Another terrific defensive play. Back-to-back -back plays by Amari Stoudemire. Sun shooting 42%. Down goes Parker. That means Nash is open. Up and three. Rebounded by Ginobili. He now has four rebounds. Diaz picks up Parker at the other end. Thomas a screen. Down goes Parker. A trip by Stoudemire. Amari, number five. The Garacek made it look like Kurt Thomas pushed him and he fell and when he did he opened up the floodgates so we have back-to-back -back tripping fouls there on Amari Stoudemire and earlier we saw Shaq both of them have five fouls remember why I said one of the keys going into the game was foul trouble by the Phoenix Suns big right. men you see five five and four on Diaw so Shaq is back in the game now with this happening are they going to do the hack of Shaq remember now they're in the penalty are they going to foul off the ball and put Shaquille O'Neal on the line. If they make two of these free throws to go up three, I would I would be shocked if San Antonio did not foul Shaq. Shaq in for Viracek, Parker at the line. Tony Parker has gone 11 of 13 from a strike. 
San Antonio has only missed three free throws. 16 of 19. The Phoenix Suns. See, Doc Vaughn is coming in here. That's what he's going to do, Kev. He's coming in to foul. If I'm, if I'm Mike D'Antoni, I get Shaq out right now on this play. So they can't do it. Phoenix has missed 15 free throws tonight. Dave, what do you have? As Mike D'Antoni made it very clear the last few days, he is not going to take Shaquille O'Neal out of the game. If there's a hack of Shaq late in the game, he says Shaq's going to have to step up and hit those free throws. I'm not taking him out. He's going to have to do it, guys. Well, he's 5 of 14 tonight. Here comes Vaughn chasing Shaq, and there's the foul of Doug Paul. In the series, as Vaughn picks up his second, Shaq is 52% from the line, but tonight, 5 of 14. Now, if you remember, Kevin, in game one, the Suns were up about five. The Spurs started going to this. Mike D'Antoni took Shaq out for about a four or five minute stretch. When he came back in the game, the game was tied, and the Spurs went on to win that game down the stretch. So this is where uh, Shaquille O'Neal, 5 of 14 from the line, and Mike D'Antoni putting a lot of faith in the big fella to step up and knock these free throws in. Shaq has got nine points and seven rebounds. That was a soft shot by Shaquille O'Neal, and the guy with the biggest smile in the building right now after Shaq is Mike D'Antoni because to leave Shaq in right there, this is very risky, and Shaq has got to reward his coach by making his free throws, and he does. And those two free throws end a San Antonio 6 to nothing run. Parker Ginobili, Duncan Finley, and Thomas the San Antonio 5 on the floor. Duncan a screen. It was on Dial. It's Parker. The rebound by Shaq, who gets it off to Nash. Parker still has not made a shot outside the lane tonight. Everything has been in the paint. Dial double. Shaq is through. Shaq takes it inside hard. Stoudemire grabbed onto the ball. And Shaq built up a head of steam. And a foul is called on Kurt Thomas, number three. Now remember now, Kev, you can only use this hack of Shaq strategy fouling off the ball up until the two-minute mark. Shaq with a little uh, shake and go there and tried to get the little <laughs> finger roll, so we'll see if he can step up. and A seismic shake and go. Here comes Shaq at the line. The complete replays of Inside the NBA to exclusive interviews with NBA superstars. To the best analysis anywhere on the web, visit TNT Overtime at NBA.com, where 40 games in 40 nights lives every day and every night. See, one of the keys for Phoenix is, Kevin, is to be able to keep San Antonio off the foul, excuse me, off the foul line as Shaq makes his three out of four. Because if the Spurs go to the foul line, you can run Jacques Vaughn in the game to give the foul. So if they can keep them off the foul line, you maybe take a little of that hack of Shaq out of the game. Eighth tie of the game. Ginobili to Duncan. San Antonio, 3 of 11 from the field in this fourth quarter. Shot clock is at six. Duncan on Shaq. Shaq knocks it away. Shot clock at two and out of bounds it goes. Three on the shot clock. This is where as a coach you work on all these special situations. Three seconds on the clock. The Spurs are a team that's been together a long time. So I would expect them to get a very good shot. Watch Ginobili. He likes to try to curl off this screen and catch his ball on the run and go to the basket. Thomas is screen, so Ginobili tries to free himself from Bell, but Bell is right there fighting through the screen. Duncan by Shaq. Tim Duncan has put in 28 points and grabbed 15 rebounds, and the Spurs by two. Diaw has got 20. He finds Shaq inside, diving in the paint, right into Duncan and a foul on Tim Duncan. That's where age has caught up with Shaq a little bit, Kev. He, he would used to have caught that ball and put two people in the basket with him as he dunked that ball. Just didn't quite have the lift there. And it's a good foul for San Antonio once again to put the big man on the foul line. He was now 8 of 18, but he has made 3 of 4. Duncan with his fourth foul. How about Shaq here? I tell you, Mike D'Antoni's got to be excited right now. He can keep Shaq on the floor to play against Tim Duncan. 
and the guy's making his free throw, so this is big for the Phoenix Suns. Shaq is at four of his last five free throws. Well, he's always said he makes them when he counts. One point game. Parker with the ball, San Antonio on top. Bell fights to the screen, tails Ginobili. Over Stoudemire, it's Kurt Thomas with the rebound collected by Duncan. Finley shakes the defense of Nash. Stoudemire fought through it and keeps it alive, and here comes Diaw. Nash the other way, 2 of 12 with 3 assists. Diaw picked up by Ginobili and doubled by Thomas. Nash with the Stoudemire screen for the lead. Oh! Nash puts it in. Suns hadn't scored from the field in four and a half minutes. How about Steve Nash? It was 2 for 12 before he made that shot. Now 3 of 13. We are in for an incredible finish. Thomas, a great screen. And Diaz shoves his way through, and Boris picks up his fifth. 2.55 to play in regulation. The Suns facing elimination. Nash right here trains one. He's got eight points. He got it over the taller Kurt Thomas. And that pushes the Suns on top by one on TNT Spurs. And I felt like, based on the regular season stats, the guy that they could maybe do a job on is Ginobili. And he is two for 11 tonight. And how about Tony Parker? 7 of 18, he was 7 of, or excuse me, 6 of 12 at halftime, so 1 of 6 in the second half for only 6 points. So this is going to be interesting here. Now let's let's watch. Kurt Thomas has got two free throws. Robert Ory is in the game. For Tim Duncan. And I'm thinking Robert Ory's in the game to foul Shaq. There's 55 seconds left in the hack of Shaq. And so if Thomas makes both of these free throws, let's keep our eye on to see if they try to take a foul on Shaq. It might behoove Mike D'Antoni to get him out of the game here. He does, and Garrett, which he comes does for Garrett 55 yep. seconds, so then you can't do it. Right. I think this is a great move here by Mike D'Antoni. You come in with a smaller lineup for 55 seconds. Now, see, Duncan is going to come back in because Robert Ory was in the game strictly to foul Shaq. Tony Parker has struggled a bit, Doug, in the second half after being terrific in the first. Well, he's not made a jump shot. I mean, he's the whole game, every shot he's made is in the paint, so you've got to get some credit to Boris Diaw. The Suns have done a better job of clogging that lane in the second half. But, uh, Kevin, I mean, you're, you're a Phoenix Suns fan. I mean, you're looking right now at your season, 2.55 to go. Those people are praying that they're going to see their Suns again on Thursday night. And if you're the Spurs, you got these fans there saying, finish these Suns off. We do not want to have to see them again this season. So we got 255 with so much weighing here uh, for both teams. Thomas will be attempting his second free throw of the series. None tonight. San Antonio 17 of 20 from the free throw line. See, now Tim Duncan cannot come in now until time comes off the clock. Once you come off, there has to be a little time, so he's not able to come back in. So we'll see defensively here. You've got Robert Ory in the game and Kurt Thomas, so not a bad matchup there. You've got Kurt Thomas who can play uh, Amari Stoudemire. The Suns have a small lineup on the floor, so you're going to see uh, Duncan back in the game as soon as he can uh, possibly get back in. Finley, Ginobili, and Parker, the other three scores on the floor. Here at Jack and Bell, Diaw and Nash, Amari Stoudemire, the Phoenix Five. See, with a game this close, you can't have Bruce Bowen in because of his offensive deficiencies. This gives Nash a chance to work against Tony Parker. Let's see if he can take advantage. Nash is 3 of 13. Stoudemire the screen. The double on Nash. The rebound touched on to by Tony Parker. His third. See, the Spurs are not going to take time out here to get Duncan back in the game. They're just going to keep playing. San Antonio with a 29% shooting fourth quarter. Into Garacek, it's Parker. Outside, Finley picked up by Nash. Shot clock is down to six. D hours on Parker. A Thomas screen. Tony Parker. First jump shot of the game. That's his first jump shot of the game. Big shot, Tony Parker. Phoenix is shooting 30% in the fourth quarter. There was three on the clock when that shot was put down by Tony Parker. Nash for three. Good. Nash 
puts in the triple. That ties the game at 85. Bowen can't play in a game like this because they can't play four on five offensively. So now you've got to make Parker guard Nash. By Gerichek, Parker to the rack, rejected by Stoudemire, a clean block. Nash had a quick pop in by Parker. Into Nash for the lead. That's a shove and a Phoenix foul. Nash got a hand on him. And Nash picks it up. Number three on Steve. Well, Tony Parker's first points outside the lane tonight are not from the free throw line. And then Nash comes back. Normally, you got a bigger defender. Bruce Bowen coming in behind him. And Nash frees himself, knocks down the three. And then the next time down the floor, a great defensive play by Parker to knock the ball loose from Steve Nash. And Tony Parker's missed some free throws here tonight, too. He's missed a couple. He has 12 of 14, so he shot him very well. But he's breathing very heavily at the line right now. Watch here is, oh, it's actually Robert Ory, that long arm of Robert Ory that knocks that ball loose. I thought it was Parker, but uh, you can just see the angst on the fans' face here. The one thing about the Spurs, I mean, this is not do or die for the Spurs. I mean, the worst thing that happens if they have to play a game six or seven, which they don't want to do, but for the Suns, it's win or go home. Bowen for Finley, and Shaq is coming for Kiewicek. Parker with 29, seven in this quarter. Diaw picked up by Ginobili. Screen by Diaw. Switch on defense. Nash looking inside for Stoudemire. Right through his legs and through his hands. Another costly turnover by Steve Nash. That's three here in about the last four minutes. And Nash only has three assists. Five Phoenix turnovers in this fourth quarter. Duncan the screen. Parker tailed by Diaw. Shot clock at nine. Another screen by Duncan. Duncan wide open. No arriving bell. Rebound by Shaq. Mike D'Antoni says we want to go into Boris Dia on the block against Ginobili. What defense are they going to Spurs going to play? Are they going to help? They have a double. And another, another, turnover. another turnover by the Phoenix Suns. You can't leave your feet to pass. That time they come down on a hard double team. Kevin, what did I say about costly mistakes about three minutes ago? We've seen three turnovers by Steve Nash and now by Boris Diaw. Duck in the screen, Parker around Diaw. A cold footed shot by Tony Parker. A Nash turnover right here. Stoudemire couldn't find the handle. Then Diaw, a normally reliable passer. That sails out of bounds. And then Parker comes, hitting his 31st point tonight. Got the screen. Diaw couldn't catch him. And the Spurs are 30 seconds away from closing out this series. And Diaw, five each, push the tempo. Tony Parker, when he gets in the open floor, when he's done, and what about this, Kevin? This is critical. No costly mistake. The Suns have missed 17 free throws. They're 4 of 11 in the fourth quarter. They have six turnovers, and Steve Nash has three of them. So we'll see what they get coming out of this timeout. You don't need a three. You need a quick score, something going to the basket, a couple free throws. But if you dribble, penetrate, and kick out, and you got an open three, you take it. But you don't need a contested three here. There's a lot of game left to be played. D. Allen Bell, Stoudemire, and Shaq, and Steve Nash on the floor for the Phoenix Suns. Ginobili, Parker, and Duncan. Now, Mike D'Antoni, one of the best coaches in the league, in these kind of situations of drawing up plays and getting his team a good shot. Let's see if they execute. Herb Thomas and Bowen, the other two, San Antonio Spurs on the floor. D. Al guarded by Ginobili. Boris Diaw, quick two like you thought. Well, they went right to a quick post up, and now the Spurs are going to take time out. That was way too easy. If you're Greg Popovich, still 26 seconds to go. Remember now, the Spurs are not a great free throw shooting team. They have gone through stretches.
during the year where they have not shot them well either. So this is going to be very interesting down the stretch. Diaw with 22 and 11 of 16 from the field. Two important points right here. That's basically the same play they ran the year that DeForest Diaw hit that jump hook to beat Dallas in game one of the uh, Western Conference Finals three years ago. I don't think that's enough time to play this out without fouling because even if the Spurs took a 24-second uh, shot clock violation only leaves you 2.2 seconds. So I'm thinking that Phoenix is going to go hard and try to get a steal. If not, they're going to have to take a foul. Now, Michael Finley is a great free throw shooter, but he's 0-3 from the floor tonight. Ginobili's a good free throw shooter. Tony Parker tonight has shot it well of 13 of 16. You see Duncan throwing the ball in. He's their worst free throw shooter at this point in time. So they want to get the ball in cleanly and then get it into the hand of a great free throw shooter. Barbosa for Diaw and Bill for Thomas. They cut it in with Duncan finding Ginobili and Rajah Bell was there. That was a high risk play. Absolutely. I mean, you've got Tim Duncan under pressure, throwing the ball over a defender. Look at this right here, this play. I mean, that that is a tough pass to make. Beautiful job by Duncan. Now can Ginobili step up? Here's a guy who's been quiet all night, two of 11. He is one of one from the line, and Kevin, if you're on the season, Ginobili is a 86% free throw shooter. And in this series, Doug, 17 of 19 from the line as Bell just picked up his fourth personal foul. Each team with two 20-second timeouts remaining. See, with a 20-second timeout now for the fans at home, you can move the ball. It used to be on a 20-second, you can't. You can. Now you can move it. So with that said, the Suns, although they won't have enough time to talk about a lot of stuff in the huddle, you can move the ball to half court. So this last 26 seconds could be four or five possessions with these timeouts. Diaw for Barbosa. And San Antonio Bowen in for Finley. Wow. Bell the rebound. 25.7 to play. Suns down by two. They'll have the ball. Facing elimination. If you're San Antonio, a two only ties you. If you run down there and double team, and you will leave a three-point shooter, a Bell or a Nash, you run the risk of a three-pointer beating you. So I'm assuming they're going to go back to Dio, and it looks like they've got Kurt Thomas in the game now to go big to guard it. It's Bell to Nash, knocked out of bounds by Bowen. It's off of Nash, a rookie shoot off of Steve Nash. The defense by Bowen. Another turnover by Phoenix, seven alone in this fourth quarter. Greg Popovich very upset. He wanted to get the ball in bounds quickly so they could get it to Ginobili. And he is hanged up there. Nash and Bell combined on the defense of Mono Ginobili. 23.1 left in regulation. Kevin, I hate, to, I hate to belabor it. Another turnover. Look at this. The pass. Bowen. Ooh, the ball goes off of Steve Nash. Let's go back to game one. The 20 seconds with Finley. Up three. You don't foul. You don't switch the play. You make a defensive mistake. Finley hits it. Sends the game into overtime. Duncan hits a three. Sends it into double overtime. They win. The scores were able to execute under pressure. The Suns had a myriad of mistakes offensively and defensively in that game. That's why we're the, they're where they are right now. This would give them a two-possession lead. Here a check is coming for Shaquille O'Neal. Three-point lead for the San Antonio Spurs. Ginobili at the free throw line. Works tonight. He is three of four. Parker in for Ori. because they only have one left. they got to hope they can score a foul and then use their timeout. Nash for three over Bowen. Rebound by Bell. Diaw. Hiracek around Parker. Rebound Duncan.
Duncan two or three at the line tonight. 28 points and 17 rebounds. Kevin Al McCoy, the great broadcaster for the Phoenix Suns, has his has a little saying he uses all the time when a guy shoots a three and rolls around and misses it. He always says, Heartbreak Hotel. And you know what? This is Heartbreak Hotel for the Phoenix Suns once again. It looks like they're going to get their heart broken once again by the San Antonio Spurs. There's a great David Robinson. And they're going to look back on this series, Kevin. Game one and game five. Critical mistakes down the stretch. They didn't handle their business. And the Spurs came up with big plays in both of those games, and that's why they're going to be eliminated. At halftime, the San Antonio Spurs led by nine. Phoenix came back and took a five-point lead. And then we've gone back and forth since. San Antonio on top, and it was a 55-27 and 27 season for the Phoenix Suns, who got Shaquille O'Neal in a trade with Miami in early February. But Doug, we repeated this a couple of times. This series might define this franchise and at least reveal a bit of where they are headed after this year. Well, I think the concerns, if you're Phoenix, is Shaq coming back next year, you know, another year older, Steve Nash, another year older. We won't know the status of a Grand Hill for next year who the Suns really missed in this series after he gave them 70 very good games this year. So as they, as Steve Kerr and Robert Sarver and Mike D'Antoni and this team get together, looking down the road the next year, they're going to be a year older, and there's some young teams in the West who are looking to get better. So it's going to be an interesting time for the Phoenix Suns in the offseason. Here a check will inbound, finding Diaw over Bowen with a three, and that's it. Phoenix has been eliminated. San Antonio has closed out the series. The game was tied at 85 with two minutes left, and San Antonio closes it out on a 7-2 run. It'll be the Spurs and the New Orleans Hornets. Our game tonight produced by Scott Cockrell, directed by Lonnie Dale. Special thanks to Chuck Sorelli, Gary Erickson, Russ Lathrop, Brian Nair, Matt Cunningham, Bob Basile. Kevin, you look at one statistic. Spurs, is that 24 for 30 from the foul line? It is. Phoenix Suns, 20 for 37. And Doug, 17 missed free throws. Phoenix with seven fourth quarter turnovers and five of 15 from the field. That was their undoing. Let's go to David Aldridge. Tony, Manu Ginobili didn't have his best game, but you were determined to be much more aggressive tonight. Uh, definitely. Uh, just uh, the, the whole series, I was trying to be aggressive and try to get to the basket, make some stuff happen. And uh, Manu didn't have his best game, but he made some big free throws. And uh, that's what we love about Manu. You know, he plays hard. He brings energy. He plays great defense. What was the key to you guys in the fourth quarter? With all of those turnovers that, that yeah, Phoenix We had. were struggling. We were struggling. We had a very bad third quarter. It was up nine, and we lost that lead. And uh, we just told ourselves, you know, give everything. We treated like a game seven. In the fourth quarter, we played just great basketball, just stay in the game and keep fighting. How important was it for this team to finish this tonight yeah, with huge. Chris Paul, your buddy, sitting at home? Uh, I know. I know he's waiting. <laughs> no, it's great. Uh, we need some rest, you know. We got a lot of old guys in my team, you know. So we're going to definitely uh, need that rest. And uh, now it's New Orleans, and they're very, very good. So so I can't wait. It's going to be a great, uh, great challenge for me to play against Chris Paul. Okay, you wanted to say something? Yes, bizuing mon amour, bizuing. Boy, that really sounds good, Kevin. <laughs> Tony Parker had 31 points tonight. In game three, he had 41 points. Him and the lane, the big difference for San Antonio. Phoenix falling apart at the seams down the stretch. Doug, we'll see you in Philadelphia in a couple nights. Absolutely. I'm heading to the Dodge. It's going to take me two days to get there, though. You're going by yourself. For Doug <laughs> Collins and David Aldridge, Kevin Harlan saying good night from Texas. We're going to send you right now to our TNT studios and Ernie J.